Blessed of greetings and welcome back to our session walk with Jesus from eternity to eternity. Shall we straight away continue unto our devotion along with prayer? Shall we bow down our heads and look unto the Lord and we seek His presence and His guidance and His blessed anointing upon us and we pray to the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we do come to your presence, giving you glory, honor and all the praises. Thank you, Lord, for each and every blessed thing that you have done for us, the Lord. Every provision that you made for us. And your blessedness, O oh God, Father, that you extended towards us, O oh God. We praise you. We glorify you. We magnify your name, O oh God. We thank you once you worship you, Lord, for everything, O oh God, Father, for each and everything, Lord, you have done for us, Lord. Can you be with us, Lord, and bless us as we're going to explore famous scriptures, Lord, speak to us also. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Shall we turn our attention towards the gospel according to John, chapter 10? We'll read from gospel according to John chapter 10 verses 1 onwards now jesus speaks about uh, the need of a shepherd and uh, who is actually a shepherd john chapter 10 verse 1 onwards very truly i tell you anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate but climbs it by another way is a thief and a bandit the one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, when he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them and the sheep Follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus said this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying. So again, Jesus said to them, very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are the thieves and bandits. All who came before me, before me are the thieves and the bandits. He mean to say, everyone who proclaimed or who claimed he or he is Christ. He is Jesus, he is Messiah. About them, Jesus is saying that they are thieves and bandits. He's not speaking about his own people, his own prophets, but he's speaking about the other ones who were not truly Christ or his prophets, but they came and they prophesied or they claimed that they are Christ and they are his prophets. So all who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate, whoever enters by me will be saved. I am the gate, whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. In verse 11 he says, I am the good shepherd, the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hind hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hind hand runs away because a hind hand does not care for the sheep. I'm the good shepherd. I'm the good shepherd. I know my own. And my own know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the father loves me because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay down of my own accord. I have power to lay down and 
I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my father. Now this is what Jesus meant to tell to his disciples who he is and who his disciples are. He clearly mentions in the terms of the shepherd, in the terms of the sheep, in the terms of the hired hands and in the terms of the thieves and bandits. Now there are so many people who claim that they are the shepherds. There are so many people who claim that they are the shepherds. Now their genuity or their true heart is only known when the sheep is facing some trouble. Now when the sheep is being attacked, here in this passage we see the sheep is being attacked by the wolves. When they see the wolves, uh, it's not even by attacked, but when as soon as they see the wolves, they run away. Because they are hired people. The sheep are not their own. They do not care for them. They just care for their life. But the true shepherd cares for his people, for his sheep, and then he lays down his life too for the sheep. Now the sheep, when they become his own, and when he calls them one by one by name, he lays down his life for them. He lays down his life for them. This is what the true shepherd is. But the bandits or the thieves, they come to steal, they proclaim, they present themselves as good and the caring people, but truly they are not good. They come with the selfish means, they come with the selfish intentions, and their intentions will be revealed openly when the true shepherd comes. So here what we see in John chapter 10, the good shepherd knows his sheep and he leads his sheep. He talks with his sheep and he saves his sheep and then he satisfies his sheep. He dies for his sheep and he unites uh, his sheep. He said, there is another fold there is another sheep that does not belong to this world. I will go and bring them also so that they can become one fold, one sheep and one shepherd. Now one fold, one shepherd. So this is what the desire of Jesus is. Ultimately, Jesus wants to unite each and every one of us. So the hind hand who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep sees the wolf and runs away leaves the sheep he runs for his own life he runs for his own life now there are so many people who claim that they are shepherds there are shepherds they are indeed shepherds but they are not your shepherds you're not they are not your shepherds now i'll give this plain example to you in my life coverage there are so many of you listening to this word there's so many of you listen to this recording after some time too. And you follow this word, you follow this message. But truly, I'm not your shepherd. I'm not your shepherd. I'm just a shepherd of my church, my people who are local area. For whom I minister. I'm just my shepherd. But for others, I'm a preacher. I'm just a preacher. You can hear my preaching. You can get benefited with my preaching. You can get blessed with my preaching. But you have your own shepherd. The one who cares for you. The church that you visit. The church that you are a member of. And the shepherd that lays his life for you. I cannot say all the people who are listening to my voice. Who are listening to this word. The message that I proclaim are my sheep no they are all not my sheep my sheep are some that are there in my place called Ambarnath now but I preach to the people I teach to the people and when the people are blessed because the Lord has asked me to bless each and every one I'm just catering to your needs but you have your own shepherd your own church and your own pastor 
Now many times what we take it in a wrong sense, everyone who has a contact with me, everyone who has friendship with me, everyone who has a you know, connection with me or who listens to my voice, who listens to my word, they are my sheep. Now this is wrong intention. And a desire to make others my own sheep is again a wrong intention and God is not pleased with this. Now Jesus is speaking in terms of in terms of the church and in terms of the Savior. Jesus is speaking in terms of the church and in terms of the shepherd, the pastor, the leader who leads them. Now in two ways this, way, this word is connected. Now Jesus said, I lay my life for my sheep. That means for the whole world. And the same way, the pastor of the church also must lay his life for his people. Now the shepherd must be led by the spirit of God, but not by the sheep. The sheep must be led by the shepherd and the voice of the shepherd, but not by the strangers. The strangers, if that all the sheep hears to the strangers voice, they shall not follow him. Now you have to follow your own shepherd. You have to follow your own fold. Ultimately, you need to move into your own sheep fold and your shepherd will be the one who will be caring for you and who will be providing you. Now the shepherd talks with the sheep and he saves them and also he satisfies them. How he satisfies them? He provides their needs. He provides all their means. He provides all the requirements. Now we need to be careful when we are moving in this virtual world where the word is so much and the source of the word are so many. You have to be so careful about the teaching and the teaching must be leading you to Christ and to the holiness of Christ and to the righteousness of Christ and to the heaven, God's kingdom, his own place where we are supposed to move. Every teaching you follow, that should be adding to the teaching that you gain from your own shepherd. And every teaching must be leading you to Christ. Every word that is proclaimed, every message that is preached to you, that should be projecting on Christ alone. Christ alone, not on you or not on someone else. Every message must be leading you to Christ. I want you people, I urge you people who are listening to this word, concentrate on Christ, imitate Christ, follow Christ because Jesus said you need to imitate him and you need to follow him in order to be saved, in order to be seen there in his eternal kingdom. We need to be very careful about our teachings. We need to be care very careful about our preachings. We need to be very careful about our hearings. We need to be very careful about what we follow. Because ultimately, this is your life and your destiny that you have to place it. If you, if you fall into wrong hands, and when trouble comes, when suffering comes, so no one will be there to help you out. As only your shepherd who will be helping you out. And your good shepherd, the chief shepherd, the Lord Jesus Christ, is always there for you. Trust on him. Look unto him. He has come down to lay his life so that you shall be saved. You shall be blessed. And you shall be received in God's kingdom. May God be with you and God bless you through this word. Shall we pray? Father God, once again, we thank you and we praise you for this evening time. Thank you, Lord, for the word that you have proclaimed here tonight. Let each and every one know the value of their sheep. And also each and every sheep must know the value of their shepherd or God. I pray in the name of Jesus. Keep everyone away from the thieves and the bandits, O Lord. Let them not, O God, Father, be deceived, but God, let them be led in a right and a proper way. I pray in the name of Jesus, the right anointing of the Holy Spirit be there upon them, Lord. Keep them away from every kind of false teaching and false following, so God. Bless them. They shall be united in their sheepfold. And Lord, in your son's coming, we shall be come together in one sheepfold, Lord, with one shepherd that is Lord with you. Father, we thank you and praise you for this evening and the word and the blessings you promised upon us. If your son's coming, Chari, help us once again that we shall be back tomorrow evening 
and that be glorify your name otherwise lord help us there in your son's coming lord thank you once again for answering to our prayers god in jesus name we pray amen amen and amen thank you so much for being here we'll be back tomorrow evening stay tuned walk with jesus from eternity to eternity we're going to continue god be with you god bless you good night